Hi everyone, welcome back to the part 4 of my ultimate weapons rack guides. And this video will be the very last video for this series. And I can't believe we almost made it. Just one more push, we'll finish all the weapons racks on every single ship that is currently in game. However, in the previous videos, I missed a couple ships and thanks to the knowledgeable viewers for pointing them out so I'm able to catch them. In the part 3, I also missed the Argo Raft and also the Nomad. I found the weapons racks on the Argo Raft, but for the Nomad, I still could not find the weapons racks. So please leave in the comments below, where are the weapon racks on the Nomad? Okay, so now let's take a look at today's ships. So let's go over the list. We finished A, B, C, D and the E mostly are the alien ships and we did in the first part. For Cougar, none. For the MISC ships, to my surprise, only two ships contain weapon racks. For all the freelancers, none. MISC Hoei has one of the best weapon racks. Prospector, none. For all the Razors, none. For the Reliant series, only the Reliant Tana contains weapon racks. However, to my biggest surprise, Misk Starfarer and Starfarer Gemini does not contain any weapon racks. But this is a huge ship. It's like a maze. So if I missed anything inside the Starfarer, please let me know because I looked everywhere. The Mira Fury, none. For the Origin ships, the 100 series, none. For the 300 series, we have weapon racks on the 300i, 315p, 325a, but not the 350r. This is a racing ship. But for the 300i, 315, and 325, they are all the same. So we're going to be looking at only one ship. 400i, you do. 600i, you have really, really nice weapon racks. For the exploration and the touring, they're all the same. So we're going to be only looking at one ship. Ain't any jump has the most weapon racks in game. Aurora series, none. For all the counties, they are all the same, every single one of them. So we're going to be looking at only one of them. For the Mantis, none. Scorpius and Scorpius and Terris has one of the best weapon racks for fighters. For the size, it's the alien ship. We look at it. Okay, so that's it. Let's go in game. First of all, we're going to be looking at the Argo Raft. This is the ship that I missed in the part three. The Argo Raft has a weapons locker on the lower deck. And once you get out of the lift, go to the kitchen area. And then over here, you have your suits. And over here, this is where I missed. You have a weapons locker. I'm going to put some weapons in it. Okay, so in the middle section, you can put four size one or size two weapons. On the top section, you can put six small items, including pistol, multi-tool, medgun. You can also put a knife in it. But for the bottom part over here, I tried multiple items. It does not work. So only these that works, but it's really, really nice for the Argo Raft. So basically you can protect yourself. Next ship is a Miss Kale. So once you get on the ship, right in front of you is a suit locker. Look at this. It's almost functional. You can hide inside. In this room, habitation, you have your weapons locker over here. How nice is this? Very beautiful. Very nice design. You have the glass window. Oh, there's a dead body. You have two size 1 and size 2 weapons over here. On top, you can put three items. Pistol, med gun, a multi-tool, and a knife. Our next MISC ship is a MISC Reliant Tana. The Tana is a military ship, so you have a small weapons locker. Three items. You can place either size 1 or size 2 weapons. Pistols, med guns, a multi-tool, or a knife. But uh, the Tana is the only Reliant ship that has weapon racks. So for all the constellations, oh, there is a dead body here. So you have weapon rack over here, which you can place only two weapons. That's it. So you can place size one or size two weapons. You can place a pistol. You can place a multi-tool. You can place a med gun. I think you can also place a knife, but you only have two slots. I don't suggest you put a knife in there. So it's a little bit lackluster for the counties. I would imagine you will have a separate locker for the pistol, for the small items. The bottom or 
top, but no, you cannot. That's it. Only two items port here. That's it. And all these, I don't know what are these, but uh, they're only decorations. It would be really nice if you can put more weapons here. So it's totally misuse of the space over here because these are really useless. They really should redesign the weapons locker for the constellations since the weapons locker are more important and useful now. So imagine you have a lot of weapons racks on the constellations. Now only two and a dead body. Scorpius, also the same as the Scorpius on Terry's. This is really nice. I really love the design and the concept of this weapon rack for the heavy fighters. Here is Axis over here. Look at this, how cool is that? Two size one or size two weapons over here. And you can put two pistols on the bottom of these small item slots. You cannot put those pistols on the top, but you can put them on the bottom. So two pistols. So you can also put a knife here and you can also put a tractor beam and the med gun. So four small items you can put over here. So this is really useful. So total you can put six items over here. You have two storage, one on each side and each storage has 1.5 SCU of storage, 15,000 K micro SCU. So one left side and one on the right side you can see storage number two so scorpius and scorpius on terry's you have nice weapon racks and big storage so for the 300i 325a and 315p you have a weapons lock over here i think this is exactly same as the hall a the amount of items so two size one and size two weapons over here and three items, you can place a pistol, med gun, multi-tool, and a knife. For the 350R, the racing variant, it does not have any weapon racks. Oh, by the way, you also have a shared external storage over here for the 300i, 325a, and 315p. If you are a fan of the Origin 400i, you have one weapons locker over here i don't have any weapons on it and also i have a tractor beam someone left in the comment of my previous video it says do not put a tractor beam on the top of the 400i because you can never take it out that's why i did it so that i can show everyone that if you put a tractor beam over here you can never take it out so let's see negative i am losing this pistol as well Okay, so I place all these med guns over here because med guns are cheap. Looks like only the left side over here. So in the middle, all three functional and works. Okay, over here as well. Left side, don't place anything over here. Only here. So you can place small items such as pistols, med gun, multi-tool, and a knife. Bottom part, you can place size 1 and size 2 weapons and easy to take out. And you can place 6 of them and you can close this weapon locker. Very nice. The 600i Exploration and 600i Touring, they're all the same as far as weapon racks are concerned. But uh, we are going to get a gold standard or interior rework for those 600i's. So those weapon racks might change. But for now, they are over here. And uh, they're hidden behind those walls. Open. Look at that. And you have two. Open. Look at this. So these weapon racks are exactly the same as those of the Carrick. You have 12 small item ports on top. They're all functional. And you also have 8 size 1 and size 2 weapons for each of those locker. So you have 2. So the location for the a any Jumps armory is here. So get in the a any Jump. Left side of the elevator. And go to hangar. And then... Once you get out of the elevator, they are on your left hand side. That's it. Weapon rack. You can see. Let's open all of them. Oops. Why do I have a weapon on me? Whoa. What just happened? Okay. I don't know why I'm holding a weapon. All right. Open this second one. You have four weapon racks on the A90 jump. Look at this. How beautiful are these? So. You have two sides of the weapon racks on the 600i and the Carrick. So same. 
Here, you put size 1 and size 2 weapons, and here, you put small items, pistol, med gun, multi-tool. Alright guys, so this is it for this video, also for this series. Let me know in the comments below what ship that I have missed in this part. So I'll be sure to add to one of my videos later. But uh, if you are with me, watch all of these Weapon Rack series. Thank you so much. This has been a arduous journey. <laughs> For me personally, it's uh, when I first started this project, I did not expect this to be this difficult. I have to f check every single ship and put all the weapon in every single rack so it's easier and faster to make those videos for you to see. I know I missed a couple ships and things, but uh, thank you guys for letting me know so we're able to catch them and uh, appreciate all the support for this journey. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in my next series. Bye!